night. We really appreciate it. Thanks, Laura, for starting the recording. I'm going to go ahead and get started at 635. We waited a few minutes so folks could log in. Um, tonight, we're going to talk about three different projects that are happening in Council Districts 6 and 9. Um, one of them, I have a brief presentation about. It's a construction project, and it's the McCart Avenue and Alta Mesa Boulevard intersection improvements project. It's currently under construction. And then when I'm done, um, I can take any questions if you have any. And then Seth is going to talk about his two projects. Seth has two projects, two intersection improvement projects that are currently in design. One is at McCart Avenue and West Creek, and the other one is Alta Mesa Boulevard at Woodway Drive. So they're all in close proximity to this one. But I'm going to kick off the meeting and talk about the construction action that is taking place right now out at McCart Avenue and Alta Mesa Boulevard. This is an intersection improvement project. It involves um, some 2018 bond money, and it's also a highway safety improvement program project. So we did get some federal funding for the construction of this project. So um, we received federal funds to actually build the project, which is what is happening now. And then the city provided bond funds to design the project. So we did the design and the environmental assessment and we got all of the permitting and then TxDOT actually bid the project and hired a contractor and they're out there building the project right now. So this is city project number 101572. It's located in both council districts six and nine. My name is Chad Allen. I'm the project manager for this project. And then I'm also the engineering manager of the mobility team at the city of Fort Worth. So all three of these projects are on are, are part of my team. We're managing all three of these projects at the city and I'm the engineering manager for the group. Seth is one of my project managers and he's managing the other two projects. The project engineer for McCart Avenue, McCart Avenue and Alta Mesa Boulevard is Multitech Engineering. Um, I don't think they're on the call tonight. And then TxDOT's contractor is FNH Construction LLC. So I'm going to go ahead and move forward with the meeting. But if um, there's someone from the council member's office who would like to introduce themselves and say hi to the group, um, now would be a great time. Hi, this is Carmen with Councilmember Jared Williams' office. I'm just here on the call to assist any constituents that have any questions or concerns that we can help direct to Transportation and Public Works Department. This meeting is also being recorded, um, so if you don't, if you have some neighbors that miss it tonight, we'll be happily to share it um, right after this meeting is done. Okay, thank you, Carmen. Thanks for attending. Hi, can anybody hear me? Yeah, go ahead. Hi, sorry, this is Anthony Rojas. I'm with Councilwoman uh, Elizabeth Beck's office. I had to dial in, had some issues. Uh, just wanted to make sure y'all aware that I'm here. And if anybody had a question, just go ahead and give us a call. Perfect. Thank you for attending. That's great. Hi, Anthony. Thank you. Okay, so I talked about the purpose of the meeting. I'm going to talk about the construction project that's happening at McCart Avenue and Alta Mesa Boulevard. It's an intersection improvement project. We're going to talk about the fact that it's an HSIP project, which I just covered. I'm going to show you the project location. Um, I have some Google images that show the original conditions of the intersection out there. And then we'll talk about the proposed conditions, which um, are the, the project that we're building right now. I do have some construction photos. We'll talk about the typical, typical construction process and what stage we are in right now. And then I'll talk about the schedule of the construction project and when we expect for it to be complete. This is the project location. We are doing work at the intersection of McCart Avenue, which goes north south and Alta Mesa Boulevard, which is east west. Um, we're doing work on all corners of this intersection. These are the original conditions. The intersection doesn't look like this right now. Um, there's orange cones everywhere out there if you've driven through the intersection. But originally, there's left turn lanes at Alta Mesa Boulevard that are on the outside of this wide median. And they currently have to drive through a very long and wide turning movement to go north on McCart Avenue or to turn left and go south on McCart Avenue. Also on McCart, there's a backup of vehicles on the south side of the intersection for people trying to make a left turn and go north. So this project is hopefully going to um, cure some of those, those issues. We're um, 
adjusting the left turn lanes and Alta Mesa Boulevard and offsetting them so that the travel path across the intersection is safer and shorter and you have a better side distance when you're trying to make that left turn movement. And then we're adding some capacity in McCart Avenue for those people who are traveling north and trying to go west on Alta Mesa Boulevard. We're also doing pedestrian improvements at all of the corners. So we're redoing all the curb ramps and modifying the sidewalk and we're um, redoing all of the traffic signals out there. But the, this shows the original conditions. This, um, I'm sorry, this image isn't too great, but this sort of shows what we're doing with the left turn lanes. So from left to right on this image is Alta Mesa Boulevard and that sort of dark gray area. Those are the new left turn lanes. So instead of being on the outside of the medians and having to make those turns, we've shifted them over and we've cut through the median area. So those left turn movements are a lot shorter now when, when cars actually get out into the intersection. And also they have better sight distance. They can see oncoming traffic better. Um, we're also, again, redoing all of the pedestrian ramps at all of the corners and we're adding new traffic signals at the intersection. There's also, I'm not sure if you can see my mouse, there's also this gigantic Encore four-legged tower right here on the west side of the intersection in Alta Mesa Boulevard. And we're coordinating with Encore to move that tower about 25 feet to the west. So that, that tower has been hit by multiple vehicles. It's sort of a safety issue for both the vehicles and for Encore in general. And we've coordinated with them and paid them to move that tower. That tower relocation is going to happen at the end of the street construction project. So this, this image sort of shows the left turn lane adjustments. And then this next one is the new um, left turn lane going north. North is on the left on this image going north and then turning into Alta Mesa Boulevard going west. So we're adding a left turn lane there. And then we're modifying the left turn lanes in Alta Mesa Boulevard. Um, here's some construction photos. The one on the left, this kind of shows what it's like out there right now. But the one on the left shows this um, modified left turn lane that I was talking about in Alta Mesa Boulevard. Um, this is one end of it right here behind the tower. And this is the end right there at the foot of the tower, you can see. And plus all of the orange. Bar um, barrels and cones that are out there right now. Um, what they're working on now, they've, they've already constructed these left turn lanes. If you drive through the intersection, you can see them, but they're not open. What they're focusing on now is at each corner, they're trying to build the foundations for the new traffic signal poles. So when you drive through there, you'll see cold cones around each of the corners. And you'll, you might see if you looked closely um, on the picture on the left, you'll see these foundations for the traffic signal poles. So right now, that's what the contractors focus on. They're focused on installing the foundations for the traffic signal poles, and then they'll be erecting the traffic signal poles soon. Um, this is the typical construction process that happens. The contractor will go out and implement their erosion control plan. They'll clear the area. They'll do any underground utility work that is required. And then they'll start on the pavement. So out here for the turn lanes, they've already done the pavement placement and state the subgrade placement and stabilization and the pavement construction. They're working on the ramps and the sidewalk construction at the corners. And they're also working on the traffic signal and signal installation. So they're pretty far down on this list of the work they're they're working on. Um, so that's what they're focused on right now is the traffic signal installation. This is the schedule of the project. This project started construction in February. I was out there um, last week talking to the TxDOT inspector and they expect for the project to be completed in August or September. Um, what happens after the TxDOT project is completed is that Encore is gonna go out and relocate that big tower on the west side of the intersection. So they will start their construction in October and I'm hoping they'll be done with their construction of moving the tower by January, but the roadway should be open and um, you'll be able to drive through it and all the new signals will be operational um, before then. But you will see some additional work out there regarding the Encore Tower relocation after the road work is done. Um, so that's what's happening with the project right now. 
Um, that's it. I had a really brief presentation about the construction that's happening out there right now. You can contact me at any time. My name's Chad Allen. I'm the project manager. Here's my telephone number and my email address if you want to take this down. And then Tiffany Bradbury is the actual TxDOT construction inspector. So Tiffany is on site almost every day of the week. Here's her phone number and email. She really knows what's going on day to day out there during construction. Again, because TxDOT is building these improvements. Um, the city was responsible for design and any issues that come up in the field where they need the engineer to answer questions, they ask the city and our engineer yeah. and I help them to answer those questions. But regarding the day to day construction and coordination with the contractor, that's TxDOT's responsibility. And Tiffany Bradbury is um, really active on the project and she knows everything that's happening out there. So feel free to contact her at this number or in this email, or you can contact me about the project. So that's all I have for McCart and Alta Mesa. And I'll be happy to take questions now. Laura, should I do that now or, or at the end? Maybe we should, I'm not sure what's best. Uh, maybe we should cover some questions about this project now and then we can go on to Seth. Does anybody have any questions about McCart Avenue and Alta Mesa Boulevard. Yeah, uh, Chad, I have a question. Okay. This is uh, Jimmy. Jimmy Young. Hey, Jimmy. Uh, and uh, I've been a resident in this area uh, for 20 years. And uh, I, I'm happy about improving the area, improving the, the traffic flow is uh, this horrendous during rush hour morning and evening. So. Yes, sir. Uh, this is a long time coming. Uh, I do have one question. What, providing we have pretty good weather, uh, what, what's the estimated completion date? So the road work improvements are expected to be done in August or September. Um, there's some things going on right now with power getting to the traffic signals and working with Encore. So, um, we just got a request for information from the contractor last week about that. That could cause a little bit of delay. I think we're going to have to pull the power from a, a different source than what was originally inspected, uh, expected. But TxDOT still thinks we're on track to be finished by August or September. And then again, after the roadway improvements are done, Encore is going to go out and move that big tower. Okay. So, you'll see some additional work out there, but in August or September, the roadway work should be done by TxDOT. Okay, great. And all those cones and barrels out there should be gone. Hey, I, man, I, I'm ready now. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Chad? It's, it, it wasn't great to begin with, and now with all of that out there, it's I'm ready for it to be over too. Go ahead, I heard someone else. Yeah, Chad, this is Steve Epstein. I'm a volunteer with the Walmart Camelot Highland Terrace Neighborhood Association. I appreciate okay. that we were invited to this meeting. Uh, looking at the diagram that you just presented, how many left turn lanes will there be from eastbound Alt Mesa to northbound Crowley Road at the end of this uh, project? From eastbound Alt Mesa to northbound Crowley Road. Park. There is one left turn lane. Um, right now, it is at the sort of south edge of that median, and we're moving it, as you can see here on the left, to sort of the north side of that median. So we're cutting through that median, and we're building that left turn lane through the median to make that turning movement out in the intersection where all of the conflicts can occur. We're trying to make that as short as possible. Chad, how does that compare to the number of left turn lanes uh, currently, I thought there were two now. It's going to go down to one. Will, will this construction uh, allow one left turn lane to be more efficient? Is that is that is there uh, is there two out there right now from the? Yes, I thought you could turn from the two uh, left most, most lanes eastbound on Alta Mesa to go northbound on um, uh, McCart currently. We're, we're not decreasing the number of left turn lanes. Um, I, I, the e, going eastbound, if you can see my mouse, this is the left turn lane right here. Um, there's one left turn lane. Is there two out here right now? I'm gonna, okay. the, yes, the second from the most left 
allows you to turn left or continue uh, eastbound on Alta Mesa so that, the, so that two cars can be turned left to go north on Crowley Road at a time. On McCart Avenue? Onto McCart Avenue. From okay. uh, eastbound on Alta Mesa to northbound on Crowley Road. Northbound, excuse me, on McCart. I'm so sorry. On McCart. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I was I was confused. Um, yes. We're not we're not um, we are not taking away any left turn lanes. Huh. So your your records show there's only one yeah, left let me, turn let me lane. Look at the existing conditions. So here here is the left turn lane right here. Is this the one you're talking about? Unfortunately, I don't see any arrows or pointers on on the. Okay. I see your image of the original conditions, but unfortunately, I don't see. Uh, but if you were to look at Google Maps uh, while proceeding yeah. uh, eastbound, I think you'd see the arrows, uh, the two left arrows. Okay. I think yeah, I might yeah. have to look. There's a, there's a, there's a, in that chat, it does look like there is a uh, two, two turn lanes in. Right now, which is one that has to, the folks have to, have to turn left, and the other, the next folks over can go straight or left. Exactly. Uh, and then there's a, a okay. little, little puppy tracks kind of kind of guide us. I see. So you I, can see. see you, I think I think I'm going to have to I think I'm going to have to look at the construction plans and get back to you about that. It's, I don't think we're taking away any left turn lanes, but let me let me get an answer um, for you about that and clarify. I apologize. Oh, I appreciate it. Again, this is Steve, Steve Epstein. Perfect. Steve, what's your email? Would you mind sharing that real quick? Sure. Or do we have that? It's SAE 8585-PER at yahoo.com. Oh, my. Can you say Thank you. Did Thank you get that? Yeah. yeah. SAE. Eight five eight five dash P is in Peter E R at yahoo dot com. I'll send you the lane assignment diagram tomorrow, and we can talk about it. Steve, I'll send that to you by email. Go great. And and how how does on uh, a study like this how does how is it measured that this is going to improve traffic flow? I see that it's going to change it, and so the left turn lanes will be less dangerous. But will this, is there some measurement that this change will allow more efficient traffic flow? I can see if you're adding a left turn lane to go westbound on Alta Mesa from northbound uh, McCart, I can see how that would definitely speed things up. But other than that, is this, is this to improve traffic flow or right. safety or a combination? So it is, it's, it's mainly, um, it's both of those. It's a highway safety improvement project. So it's, it's really focused on safety and that left turn, you can see how the left turn. I'm hearing some echoes. I'm sorry. Um, so really improving the side distance for those left turns of Alta Mesa going south and going north is really a big part of the project. And then there is some capacity improvements with an additional left turn lane um, from McCart going to Alta Mesa Boulevard on the to going west. So it's both a safety and capacity improvement project. Thanks, I appreciate it. Are there any other questions? I, I got another question, Chad. Uh, okay. What is the the stats on the number of accidents that has occurred at this uh, major intersection, say in the last year or two? So um, we do we did do a crash analysis as part of our uh, initial assessment. We have a traffic study that describes that. I don't have that at my fingertips right now, but I would be happy to provide that to you and to talk to you about the accidents out there. But in order to get um, highway safety improvement project funds, program funds. Um, we we definitely look at the crash history, and the crash history is something that is, allows us to get that federal money to improve the safety of these intersections. So there definitely is a crash history. 
I don't have the number of crashes at my fingertips right now, but I can definitely look that up and send, or send you that study or both. Okay, I appreciate it. Okay, Jimmy, if you would give your contact information to Seth too, that would be great. Okay. Do you you need my email address? Yeah, yes. that would be have that. Thanks. Thanks, Seth. Yep. Okay. It's uh Y O U N G J R two zero zero four at yahoo.com. And what was your name again? I'm sorry. My name is Jimmy Young. I didn't put my last name when I signed in, but it's Jimmy Young. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, if there aren't any other questions about this construction project, I can go ahead and stop sharing, Seth, and you can talk about your two intersection improvement projects that are currently in design. Sounds good. Um, okay. So, so I'll start with, I'm going to start with, um, let's see, where are we going here? Looks like we're going to start with McCart Avenue at West Creek. Let's see here. Chad, can you see my screen? Not yet. Yes, I can see it now. Okay. Okay. Um, Chad, appreciate your uh, your project that you went over. Um, again, as Chad mentioned, I am Seth Cooksey. I I do work for Chad. Um, I am a project manager for the city, and I have two projects tonight that I'm going to be covering. Um, my projects are different uh, in that they are design in the design phase. They are not under construction. They are in the same area as Chad's project. I believe one is just north of the um, project we just went over at Alta Mesa McCart. That would be McCart at West Creek. Uh, and then I have a project later we'll talk about that's to the west of the project we just covered. So this is McCart Avenue at West Creek. Uh, and uh, we will be, let's see here, how do I change my screen? There we go. Well, we're going to talk about the project location, um, and we'll talk about the scope. We I have three different uh, slides that we're going to go over the scope, kind of the overall scope, and then what's going on to the west of the project and what's going on to the east of the project. We'll talk about the project status and, then of course, my contact information, and then we will take questions as well. Uh, then we'll go to the next project after that. So here's the West Creek McCart of project location. You can see it's just north of what the project we just spoke about. I think we're all familiar with this, especially after that good presentation that we just heard. So this project uh, we are going to be adding, it's not quite gonna be as involved as the last project, but we are gonna be adding uh, uh, upgrades to the, inner, the signals at this intersection, um, new traffic signals. We're gonna be adding the new pedestrian crosswalks. Uh, we're gonna be adding new sidewalks at this intersection. ADA compliant ramps. Uh, we're gonna be adding pavement markings and signage, additional signage. The, the goal of this project, uh, as it was before, is to make this uh, intersection safer uh, we are won't will not be reducing the capacity of this intersection. We'll simply be making it safer uh, with the upgrades. Oh, brother. Okay. Now, well, so so just to look at the west side of this project again, uh, with it, you know, some left turn lanes on the west side of this project, you can see a pedestrian crossing um, at the southwest corner. Also modifying the sidewalks at this southwest corner across that median. Uh, we're going to be moving the traffic signal out of the median nose on the west side of the McCart. All traffic signals in the corners uh, or right turn island areas. We're going to upgrade the pedestrian curb ramps uh, and add two directional access ramps at the corners. At all, actually, at all corners, but specifically, we're talking about this west side. Uh, of course, we're getting new pavement markings 
uh, and the entire intersection. And it's very similar on the east side, a left turn lane, pedestrian crossing, light poles are coming out of those medians again, the median nose. Uh, upgrading the pedestrian curb ramps and the uh, all, of course, again, all uh, upgraded curb ramps and uh, new pavement markings. So east and west are very similar. Um, and that's what we're doing at this project for now. And again, remember, this is design. So we will be going into construction. When is that going to happen? What has happened already? And when uh, is the construction going to start? Uh, the 30% submittal was done back in August of 2023. Uh, there was a lot of comments. Uh, and so the uh, engineer did redo some things. They turned in their 60% submittal in December. Uh, we had, we we're looking for different utilities, making sure we understand where all the utilities are right now. Uh, adding some right away, um, acquiring right away on this project that does take some time. We did, all of us went out there, the engineer, uh, myself, Chad, we all went out there for a constructability walkthrough in February. And now the uh, engineer is working on final construction documents. Uh, hopefully we'll have those in July. Once they go to, yeah, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. And once we, uh, so that means around September, I uh, should have included that, but around September, we should have the um, the bid, and then construction after the bid. Construction can start uh, in the winter, so we're still probably a good six to seven months out for construction at this intersection. The design engineer on this project is Peter. He's on the call. If we have any technical questions, he's ready to jump on. Um, and then, of course, I am the project manager for the city. So here's my contact information. Please take that down or take maybe take a screenshot or a photo of the screen. Because if you do have some questions, you're going to want to get a hold of me or, or the design engineer. Uh, if there are some questions as we progress, as a reminder, there will be 1 more community meeting on this project. So, if, um. If you have other folks that that are in this area that that are going to have some questions or comments, there's going to be a, a pre-construction community meeting, uh, probably sometime in October, November, December timeframe, um, after the bid process and the and the contractor is um, awarded the project. We'll have a pre-construction community meeting. Uh, any final questions can be asked. But now's the time to ask questions to influence the design. Uh, and so please, uh, please do that uh, right here. I think maybe Chad also shared this. I'm not sure if you have any questions or in general, you have questions for the city. Um, uh, here's some apps uh, that you can download for the app from the app store, the Google store, my Fort Worth app that can be very helpful in submitting general questions to the city and sharing your concerns with the city. With that, I'll take questions on this project and then we'll go right into the next project. Okay, I'm gonna assume there were no questions. So we are gonna talk about the next project. Chad, can you still hear, hear me? Laura, can you hear me? I can hear you very well. Yes, sir. We can hear you. Great. Okay. So I, as I mentioned, that uh, just doesn't sound like there was any questions on that project. I go with another project. Uh, this is to the south uh, west of the previous project we just spoke about. This is the Alta Mesa Boulevard at Woodway. Um, another intersection improvement project. Um, this one is also Transportation Public Works, and this one is also funded by the 2022 bond program, where I think Chad's was the 2018 bond. 
This is being funded with by the 2022 bond. So let's get into this one here. Uh, we're gonna have we're gonna talk about the scope of the project, the location, the status, uh, I, the current conditions, the preliminary design or the proposed conditions, a little bit about traffic control, and then the project schedule, and of course my contact information again. Uh, project scope: We're reconstructing the medians uh, to allow for overlapping northbound and southbound left turn lanes movements. Uh, you'll see uh, kind of what I'm talking about here shortly. Uh, we're going to be improving the traffic signal operation. We're going to be upgrading the pedestrian facilities such as ADA ramps. Uh, and as I mentioned, uh, we are funded by the 2022 bond program. Uh, project location. Um, here it is. It's the it's ultimate ultimate to Woodway. As I mentioned, we are very close to the two projects we spoke about earlier. I think everybody would be familiar with this location. Uh, project status: uh, sixty percent was submitted. Again, I wanted to remind everybody this is a design. Uh, we are in design right now. We are not in construction. So. Right now, uh, we have the 60% submittal for design was submitted back in December of 2023. We had our constructability walkthrough in February. Uh, utility and right away is also ongoing on this project. Uh, we had a 60% city review and we're expecting our 90% uh, design to come in next month. Final submittal should be in July which means this has a very similar construction time frame, excuse me, as um, the as the last project we spoke about. So it could winter of 2024, 2025 is when we we'll probably get started. And of course there will be a constructability, a construct construction a community meeting. Oh yes, thank you. Someone had a question. They said, what is 60%? When we do a design for and let me show you, but when we do a design for one of these intersection improvement projects, uh, we come up with design plans. The engine, we hire an engineer, they come up with design plans, but we don't want them to design everything all at once. We want them to design in phases. Uh, that's to give the city time to review the project, to make any corrections, maybe to see there would be problems uh, in construction. So we wanna make changes early. So we asked the engineer to submit a 30% design. It's about a third of the way through. Then we asked them to submit a 60% design. Uh, we Then we review that and give them comments. And then we go to 90% and final design. Once it's in final design, we uh, submit that for a bid. We'll contractors bid on that. And of course, they're, when they're awarded, we have one more community meeting and then the meeting and then the project can get started during construction. So. Hopefully that answered the questions. Here's a little bit what the design plans might look like. Um, but anyway, the current conditions uh, kind of rudimentary. Uh, we have some, if, every, if everyone sees, if you're on Woodway and you're trying to go south and take a left to, onto also Mesa and, you're, and then you have a vehicle on Woodway trying to turn left and go north, I'm sorry, go west on Alta Mesa. So you can imagine you, you would have folks that are, you know, almost intersecting one another. It's, it's not, it's not, uh, it's not very safe. So what we're doing is we are changing that. So these, uh, those left turns are not overlapping any longer. That's kind of the major upgrades we're making here to make that intersection safe. Does everyone, hopefully everybody can see this. That's what I'm talking about here. You see those little, what we call, I think we call those now puppy tracks. Uh, kind of, you can see them where they're not overlapping any longer. So they're, it's safer. When you're making those left turns off of off of Woodway, you are getting new traffic signal poles, uh, and of course, um, we are uh, making those making those safety upgrades. Those all those intersections we have new ADA compliant ramps. Also, in the blue areas, you can see those new sidewalks. So we are have much safer for the vehicles, and we're safer for the pedestrians. Um, multiple phases, uh, this, that's a little bit about traffic control where this will be designed in multiple phases. Um, 
and of course the medians of the Alta Mesa will be constructed first. There's going to be new pavement along Alta Mesa, and uh, the uh, pavement and mediums along medians, excuse me, along Woodway um, will be uh, will be constructed. Oh, I'm, that's that's. Hmm. I'm sorry. Um, we're going to try to make sure all uh, adjacent properties and access will be maintained, and so. Uh, that'll be all. Uh, this will be all taken care of during construction. Uh, you'll see those cones up, those barriers, and we'll be uh, doing our best to keep the to keep the public, uh, the vehicles, and the, uh, the the pedestrians safe during construction. So here, project schedule for, as I said, it's currently in design. Uh, winter 2024, as I mentioned, um, for this one for execution of the contract, and then, and this one's actually. Possibly because we don't want to do two projects at the exact same time, it could be that we stagger this one so it starts a little bit after um, after the uh, our previous project, so we don't have too much construction in one area. If that makes sense, estimated construction cost is a million dollars, and the duration is going to be on this one's going to be twelve months. Uh, GEI is the design engineer. Uh, this is their contact information and, of course, my contact information once again. So, if you have questions um, now or later, you can give me a call. You can give me a, send me an email and uh, we can get those questions answered. Same slide here uh, with the app, the My Fort Worth app. Uh, if you have questions or service requests, uh, this can be very helpful. You can take a screenshot or a photo of this, and you should be able to download these uh, apps if you if you would like them. And with that, I'll take questions on this project. Sounds like Chad's project was more popular, and that's okay. It's under construction. I can. I know. I can. I know why. I'm sure when these two projects go to construction, uh, these projects will have folks will have more questions. Okay, I'll try to answer them. I really wish I would have asked my engineer to attend, and he could have helped me out with that left turn lane question. Go ahead. Is there? Oh, was there one in the chat? Let me see if I can see the chat. There was one question about the what about the meaning of um, oh here we go time to what was that timeline of what project I missed it it just went by I saw someone had a question in the chat ultimate at my card let's go back yeah I think this is about um, the left turn lanes onto McCart going north. Um, I really need to um, go back and look at our traffic analysis and provide an answer to these questions. We did do a traffic study as part of the project. So we did look at the capacity of that new left turn lane. And I'm, I think I'm going to have to get back to um, Steve and I can't tell who's asking this question in the chat. Um, Mr. G Mr. or Mrs. Golden, um, I'll respond to you both about the capacity of the left turn lanes. And I apologize, I wasn't prepared to answer that tonight. Chad, I think someone had a question about the timing, possibly of how, when is construction gonna end on this project? Sure, you know? so um, for McCart and Alta Mesa Boulevard, that project is being constructed by TxDOT. They're really involved in the day-to-day -day operations of the contractor. The last time I talked to them was last week and they felt like the project would be done in August or September. We have had a few complications in the field regarding moving things around because of unanticipated underground utilities. So that can sometimes push the schedule out. And then we've had an, another issue out there lately about power to um, coming from Encore to the traffic signals out there. So um, that I think has pushed their schedule off until August or September, but they still um, plan on being done by August or September. And then again, after the roadway project is done, Encore is going to come out there and move that big tower that's on the west side of the intersection. They're going to move it 25 feet to the west starting in October is what Encore has told us. 
and they're going to replace it. That's not going to be a big four legged tower in the future. It's going to be a large diameter single pole tower, single um, large pole that they're going to put over there. But the roadway work should be done in August or September of this year. Um, hopefully that answered that question. Okay. Seth, I got a question for you. Yeah. In lieu of uh, the tremendous amount of foot traffic from uh, Southwest High School, especially during the lunch hour, uh, has there been any type of uh, integration with the school district or who's ever uh, uh, jurisdiction that we're following in? to somehow uh, reduce the foot traffic uh, along Alta Mesa corridor. Uh, you see kids going to uh, Chicken Express uh, all the way down uh, to McDonald's walking back and forth. It's such a, a danger. And what, what is being done? Uh, has there been any plans to, to, to reduce that traffic? Maybe have a uh, some type of, uh, uh, you know, uh, franchise at the school, you know, maybe a chicken express or, uh, uh, chicken filet in the school to keep them from doing so much yeah. walking back and forth. That, that's a, that's a great idea, but, but really you're bringing up, uh, some problem, some, some very complicated, uh, um, uh, issues there, you know. So what we do is we always coordinate with the school to let them know what is going on, what is happening, what's going to be happening. And we leave that up to them to decide if that is too, um, too dangerous for their students. Uh, and if they, they feel like it's too dangerous, then we can, we will sit down with them and we can design um, pedestrian, uh, more pedestrian safe routes but they have not reached out. So uh, that is definitely something that we should have an additional conversation about. A lot of times uh, as engineers, we don't really know what, you know, since we're out there, maybe once every couple of weeks checking on the projects, we don't see those patterns that other people do. So it would be good for us to, to at least talk to them and remind them about that. But no, that really typically, and Chad, please correct me if I'm wrong, but that's typically that sort of thing um, how to bring the students in, how to keep the students safe uh, when it's when it, when they start out at the school is really something the school uh, would determine. Yeah, so, and, and it's the same situation at uh, West Creek and McCart from the South Hills High School. Wow, uh, it's such a dangerous. You know, they're crossing over to to walk down to Brahms or wherever to get their lunch, right. and, and it's a it's a that's a major issue that needs to be addressed. With, you know, when we, when we do our final coordination with the school, uh, we will definitely bring that up to them. And, uh, hopefully they have dealt with this sort of thing in the past. You know, this, this is not the 1st construction they, they the, in the area since that school's been, uh, been uh, up, those schools have been up. So hopefully they uh, have some kind of uh, record of, of what they would want to do. And we can definitely help them with that. Uh, determining safe routes, um, barricades if needed, uh, but but ultimately it would be up to them if they want to restrict uh, the students in that way or try to add more opportunities for foods. And unfortunately, I think if you gave them every um, if every single restaurant under the sun and near near at the school, you know, kids still want to get out, they still yeah. want to do their walk, they still want to. You know, so uh, yeah. that's really something. But yeah, it's it's a good it's a good reminder. Thank you. Sure. Re regarding McCart and Alta Mesa, we we are clearly strapping new crosswalks across all legs of the intersection. So, um, at all four in all four directions, there is a new crosswalk um, on Alta Mesa Boulevard. Folks do have sort of a haven area in the median where um, they will be out of traffic, but uh, across McCart, um, you know, they have to travel ac across that entire roadway when they're in the crosswalk. But there are new pedestrian signals out there that are being proposed as part of the project, and they'll be timed appropriately so that students can get across the road safely.
and we uh, we do coordinate with the school um, systems about our projects, but I personally don't think we talk to them about their you know their lunch plan offerings you know as as part of our capital improvements. Right, but it wouldn't hurt wouldn't hurt to remind them uh, if yeah. possible. And yeah. I think also this is Peter Carvana with Beard Hampton and Brown. We're on the McCart and West Creek intersection. I think also for the uh, South Hills High School, they did just add a median break a little bit north of us with a crosswalk to go to the other side of the street. And then we will be improving all of the intersection uh, crosswalks there and adding some new ones. And in the last round of revisions from the city, we have tried to add a few more um, signs indicating to only cross at the crosswalks to help kind of deter some of that mid block crossing. Right, so these are these are not just for vehicle vehicle safety. It's for pedestrian safety. Everything we're doing, uh, we consider both and all, we always prioritize uh, the pedestrians. So that that should help anytime we are bringing an intersection up to st new standards, the pedestrians are always going to be always going to be safer at all, all times of the day. That's at least that's the intent. Thank you guys. If there's no more questions, I'll uh, turn it back to Chad for closing uh, statements and I want to uh, thank everybody for being here. Chad, do you have anything uh, anything to add? Uh, no, sorry, I was trying to get off mute. Um, this was a great meeting. We appreciate all of your questions. I have to get back to a couple of folks about the um, left turn lane capacity. I want to make sure I have the right information before I respond about that. And but otherwise, we we appreciate um, all of your feedback and your input and participating in this meeting. So thank you very much. Do we have all of the contact information we need to respond? I, um, Mr. or Mrs. Golden, would you like to provide your email address so that we can respond to you also about the left turn lane capacities? Other than that, I, I think we got all the, in, the contact information that we need and we can um, respond to. Thank you very much. I see that in the chat. We can respond uh, to those folks who had really good questions. And again, thank you all for participating. And I, I think we're done. Laura, are we done? I do believe so. Great job, guys. Thanks for sharing the info. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's been informative.